Today we're going to talk about installation of on-the-wall spice racks. When you receive your spice rack, it will come to you wrapped in stretch wrap, which we've already taken off of this one, and your hardware package will generally be mounted inside of it, wrapped around one of the dowel rods. We'll also take the back panel and put it on the front side of it when we pack it so that it protects those dowel rods from having damage to them during shipping. So we'll remove the stretch wrap and there's the back panel and then we'll take the hardware package out. What I've laid out here is all the different hardware that you will get with the rack. The back panel actually sits in the back of the rack, inside the track, just like this. That way it sits nice and flush when you get ready to put it up on the wall. There are three different mounting methods for mounting these spice racks, depending upon whether you're going to put it on the wall or on a hollow core door. So we'll go through each one of those mounting methods one at a time. Okay, the first mounting method is using the built-in pocket holes up underneath the shelves. Use those, that mounting method, what you need to do first is go ahead and take some masking tape and put a couple of stripes of it on the back side of it. This will help to hold your back panel in place while you're trying to mount it up on the wall. Keeps it from falling out on you. Then the next thing you're going to do is just take a drill and run your screws directly into the pocket holes up underneath the shelves, just like so. Run them all the way in, in until they're nice and tight. The next mounting method we're going to cover is using the small plastic brackets on the rack if you're going to mount it on drywall. This is not for hollow core door this is just for drywall. If you want to use the brackets and don't want to use the built-in pocket holes, the brackets can be used with uh, wall anchors. You can't use the pocket holes with a wall anchor because the pocket holes go in at a 15 degree angle so they wouldn't be able to go into the uh, drywall anchors very well. So if you're going to use drywall anchors you've got to use the little plastic brackets. We've given you four brackets and you can mount them anywhere on the rack that you want to. They can be inside or they could be on the outside. They could be up top, bottom, wherever you want to put them. The reason we don't put them on there for you is because every person's installation is going to be different. So it depends on where you need them. That's where you can mount them at. If you're going to mount them on the inside of the rack, we suggest that you put them up underneath the shelf. I actually have this rack turned upside down. This is the way it normally goes. But if you put them up underneath the shelf, that way these do not have any effect on your ability to use the full depth of your shelf to put your bottles on there. If you're going to mount them up under the shelf, make sure that you put them in about a half inch or so away from the edge so that the small screws that you put them in with do not come into contact with the assembly screws because that could tear up the rack trying to do that. If you're going to put them on the outside or up the top and bottom, whatever, that doesn't make any difference. Again, make sure you don't come into contact with the assembly screws, so keep them about an inch or so away from the edge. Once you put the expansion anchor into the hollow core door, take your drill and tighten the screw up. What that's going to do is that's going to push the expansion anchor back and, and it'll be tight against the inside of the door. That way it actually can't come back through. Once you have the drywall or the expansion anchors into the door, then you're just going to run the bolt back out all the way so that it comes out of the anchor. 
Now your anchor is ready to actually mount the rack into it. So you'll run that same bolt through your bracket like that, and it goes right into the anchor itself, and that'll tighten it down.